This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Can you spot the difference between the two functions in your workspace? Oh, they must mean these. Hmm. Destroy block, move forward, destroy block, move forward. Fix, ooh, fix long path, fix short path. They have a different name, right? Use these functions with other code from the toolbox to clear the path for Oh, and of course, they have those names because two, three. They This one repeats twice, that one re repeats three times. Uh, all right, use these functions with other code from the toolbox to clear a path for the mine cart. Then collect the flint and steel. So flint and steel, okay. Got it. So here is the agent. I know then clear a path for the mine cart. Well, since I'm on the left, I'll have my agent go left. And then, let's see, move forward. I might use a loop, but let me see what the code looks like first. And move forward. Now, what do I want to do here? I want to get rid of two blocks. Well, which function does that? Because we're not going to put it in ourselves. If we do repeat two times, repeat three times. Well, how many blocks do we need to destroy? Two. So we're going to destroy a block, move forward, place rail. Destroy a block. So I'm going to use the fix short. Now, when I ask the computer this, when I tell the computer to do this, it's going to look. Nope. Yep. And run this code. Once it does, it will go back to wherever I was. Let's test what we have so far. All right. So now, if I had something below this, once it's done with the function, it would just keep going. And that's good, because I now need to turn right. And then it looks like I'm going to move forward again. And now, what do I want to do? Is this a long or a short? It looks like a long one to me, right? Do I want to destroy two blocks or three? So, three. So, I'll call that, or I'll, I'll ask it to run that. Let's test. Uh-oh. I should have waited. Is it going to work? Ooh. I need a reset. Okay. Try again. That looked good. And see how it's running the functions? And then back to where we were in the code. Running the function once, twice, three times. Now it's done. And now let's see. But uh Awesome. Onward.